Neither Krishna in a room with n people, each pair shakes hands between themselves with the probability 2 by n square and independently of other pair. If Pn is the probability that total number of handshakes is at most 1, then this limit n tends to infinite Pn is equal to what? Now, number of people in the room is n. So, the total number of possible handshakes will be nc2, which is n, n minus 1 by 2. And let us say this is capital N. Now, the probability of handshake happening between the two people, it is given by 2 by n square. So, probability of success is 2 by n square. So, probability of handshake not happening or probability of failure will be 1 minus 1 upon 2 n square. Now, it is asking for this probability Pn, which is probability of having at most one handshake. So, we need to find probability of x less than or equal to 1, which is equal to probability of x equal to 0 plus probability of x equal to 1. Probability of x equal to 0 will be nc0 q to the power n. So, here will be capital N and nc1 q to the power capital N minus 1 p to the power 1. Now, this is limit n tends to infinite. Now, q is 1 minus 2 upon n square. So, it will be 1 minus 2 upon n square, n square minus n by 2 and plus capital NC1 is N, which is N square minus N by 2 and then into Q to the power N minus 1. So, it will be 1 minus 2 upon N square, N square minus N minus 2 upon 2 into P, which is 2 upon N square. Now, I will actually solve this limit part. Now, this is limit N tends to infinite 1 minus 2 upon N square to the power N square minus N by 2 and plus this limit n tends to infinite. Now we'll take these two together. So there'll be n square minus n upon 2 n is multiplied with 2 upon n square. And then we have 1 minus 2 upon n square, n square minus n minus 2 upon 2. Now this is 1 to the power infinite form. This also is 1 to the power infinite form. So here we're going to use two concepts and limits. And the concepts are, if we have this limit, x tends to a, fx to the power gx, and it is of the form 1 to the power infinite, we can write this as e to the power, this limit x tends to a, fx minus 1 into gx. Now, since it is of the form 1 to the power infinite, we can write this as e to the power, this limit, n tends to infinite, and it'll be fx minus 1, which is 2 upon n square, and then it'll be n square minus n by 2 plus this limit n tends to infinite. Now here 2 will cancel, it'll be n square minus n upon n square, and we can write this as e to the power this limit n tends to infinite. Now this is fx minus 1, so it'll be 2 upon n square. And this is n square minus n minus 2 upon 2. Now the second concept in limits that we are going to use is if we have an infinite limit and if we arrange these polynomial in decreasing power of x This limit will have a non-zero finite answer if and only if the highest power of x in the numerator and denominator it is same then in that case answer to this limit will be coefficients of higher power. So there will be a naught upon b naught. So here if you want to look at this is e. Now here highest power is n square. Here also highest power is n square. Coefficient is minus 1. So this is e to the power minus 1 plus. Now here highest power is n square. Highest power is n square. Coefficient is 1. So it will be this 1 into and here again, this is n square, this is n square, we have this minus sign, so it will be minus 1. So answer to this limit will be 2 e to the power minus 1. And that's your option D.